Hey, welcome to Simple Church Online, and thank you so much for tuning in today. If today's the first day that you've tuned in, I hope and pray that it will not be the last. Listen, over the past few weeks, you've heard me talk about how, as a church, we believe that the primary way that God works is through other people. Uh, we believe more often than not the way that God meets the needs that we have is through other people. And today, rather than uh, preach a message to you or, or try to teach you something, I started thinking, what, what good am I if I'm not practicing what I preach? For the last few years at Simple Church, um, we've been in a spot as we've began to grow again that uh, there are so many things that we want to do and we need to do. And I had to come to the realization that, that I couldn't do it alone, that I need people to help. And over the course of the last few months, I have been in discussion with a good friend of mine, and we have decided to pull the trigger, if you will, and hire him as our new associate pastor at Simple Church. If you're one of our online viewers for the past couple weeks, you've seen him speak. His name is J.J. Bond. This past Thursday was J.J.'s first official day at Simple Church. We brought him on as our new associate pastor. So you're going to be hearing from J.J. more and more. We're going to share the, the, the preaching and teaching duties at Simple Church. J.J. is going to spearhead starting a bunch of new groups and activities and ministries at Simple Church. And we are so very excited about it. Next weekend, he's actually going to be speaking to us for the first time as our associate pastor. And I hope and pray that, that you will come to one of our live services and get to know J.J., get to know his heart. Um, one of the main reasons that I went after J.J. was because of his heart for Jesus and his heart for people. And I seriously hope that you'll come out one day and, and, and just introduce yourself and, and, and meet J.J. We'd love to see you at one of our live services. Right now, what I want you to do is just sit back and enjoy our music. You know, one of the things that I am most proud of at Simple Church is our band and our musicians. The, the people that on a weekly basis lead us in praise and worship. So today, um, I just want you, rather than to listen to me, I want you to listen to them. Listen to the words of these songs. Listen to the way they sing and they play from their heart. And enjoy. Enjoy some time worshiping God. It, today, if you'd like to give to Simple Church, we would love for you to do that. You can donate online. Just go to our webpage at simplechurchstl.com. Hit the donate button. It will walk you through all the steps. But again, right now, I invite you to sit back and just listen to the words of these songs. And today, let these words be the message. Let this be the sermon for you. God bless you. The times I called your name some broken night And you showed up and patched me up Like you do every time I get amnesia I forget that you keep coming around There ain't no way you'll ever let me down Good God Almighty I hope you'll find me Praising your name Tell me, is he good? Tell me, is he God? He is God. He is good God Almighty. You say your love goes on forever, that your mercy never stops. So why would I assume you'd I'm be good. somebody that you're not? Like sun in the morning, I know you're going to be there every day. So what on earth could make me be afraid? Good God Almighty, I hope you'll find me Praising your name no matter what comes Cause I know where I'd be without your mercy So I keep praising your name at the top of my lungs 
Tell me, is he good? He is good. Tell me, is he God? He is God. He is good, good God, God Almighty. All right, let's do this together. Praise him in the morning, praise him in the meantime, praise him when the sun goes down. Love him in the morning. In the noontime, Jesus, when the sun goes down, Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noontime, Jesus, when the sun goes down. There's a story in the Bible in John chapter 4 about Jesus and a woman at a well. Anybody familiar with that story? All week long, I've been in James chapter 1, just James chapter 1. And then for some reason, I mean, I just keep going there every day. It's just incredible. And for some reason, I heard somebody talk about this scripture, and I went over it and checked the story out where Jesus runs into a Samaritan woman. And I, I never really knew what Samaritans were. I just thought, well, if they got a, a thing in the Bible that says it, it was a good Samaritan, that Samaritans must have been pretty bad people or something, you know, because there was a good Samaritan. And uh, I, so I started looking into that. And uh, Samaritans were... If it was today, we would say, oh, they're Christians too. They believe in the same God. They believe in Jesus. They weren't. They were, they were Jews, though, and they believed in the same God. They believed in the same five books of the Bible, you know, in the Old Testament that the Pharisees believed in and the Sadducees and the people that Jesus hung around. They, they were so similar, but they divided. Can you imagine that? Dividing over something and not considering them brothers and sisters? Well, that's what happened with the Samaritans. And Jesus came to change all of that, as we know, like to not divide us, but to unite us as loved people, as loved children of his father. So she doesn't even think he would sit down and have a drink with her, but he does. And when they talk about the water, Jesus said, you got that scripture up? Everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again, speaking of the water at the well. But whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water, welling up to eternal life. I don't think he's talking about heaven. I think he's talking about a whole new worldview, a whole new life, centered on loving his father and loving others, including Samaritans. Or maybe today we'd say including Republicans or Democrats or, or Baptists or whatever. You know, he's saying this is a new life. This is the kingdom of God. This is a whole new perspective on everything. And just imagine this lady, you know, sitting there. And then he goes on to tell her about her personal life and stuff without judgment, with love, and with a, a nudge towards the new way. The new way, which became called the way. So as we sing this song, think about just how awesome that is. I know a place where we can go to lay the troubles down in your soul. I know a place where mercy flows. Take the stand Make you whiter than snow Like a tide It is rising up Deep inside the current That moves and makes you Come alive Living water That brings the dead to life Whoa, whoa We're going down to the river Down to the river Down to the river To pray As we wash by the water Washed by the water, rise up in amazing grace. Let's go down, down, down to the river. Mm. Let's go down, down, down to the river. Yeah. 
I've seen it move in my own life. Took me from dusty roads into paradise. All of my dirt, all of my shame, drowned in the streams that have made me born again. Like a tide, it is rising up deep inside a current that moves and makes you come alive. Living water that brings the dead to life. Whoa, whoa. Sing it with us. We're going down to the river, down to the river, down to the river to pray. Let's get washed by the water.
Jesus is waiting 